so Elise, you had Matthew McConaughey as a professor. I did. How was it? What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Joel and today I am here with one of my best friends. My name is Elise, hello. <laughs> or at tall girl on TikTok. <laughs> So today we're going to be giving you guys a virtual tour of campus because I understand that a lot of you are unable to visit the campus or see this all in person, but hook them horns and let's get into the tour. <laughs> Due to the current circumstances of the pandemic, I understand that a lot of you cannot come see the University of Texas at Austin, which is why today we are going to give you a virtual tour of campus. And we are starting out at the communication school. This is where our majors mainly are. Can you explain these buildings? Okay, yeah, so this is BUO. BUO is the newest building in the Moody School of Communication. Most of the classes in here are advertising and journalism, but there's always like a mixed match of them. And then across the street is the CMA and the CMB. In the CMA, it's like RTF, Media Studies, CSD classes, and then um, the CMB is where all of the studios are for RTF classes, so there's a bunch of sound stages and the largest green screen, I don't know if it's like in the country yet on the campus, but like we have a really big green screen that Ooh. the seniors a couple years ago commissioned. Right across the street. You have King Solving, so that's a dorm. This is the outside of Velo, though. I've got to show you guys the iconic bridge. The iconic oh, bridge. The bridge. The bridge has always been here, like it's been here since I've been here. But my friends, like who were here before, said that they like left for winter break, essentially, and they came back, and the bridge was here when they got back. Over there is Guadalupe, which you can definitely walk down. And <laughs> you could definitely walk down that street. Yeah. It's a super popular strip. We'll get there. So in front of Below, there's also a bunch of chairs and greenery and a little kind of meditation garden back there. That is a cute shirt, Amanda. Oh, thanks. It's my brother's. I know. Not mine. It's a vintage Bevo. That vintage Bevo look. <laughs> the vibes. The vibes. There's a CMA. This is CMA. Not to mention CMA that I just talked about. Beautiful. Um, we can cut these together. Okay. Editing Amanda. There's the tower, and here is kind of the foyer. Moody Plaza. The Moody Plaza. The CMA Plaza. Also known as. So this is the CMA that she was talking about. I've had a lot of my classes in there. That's the CMB, the like building with the windows. And it has no windows because it is sound stages. So like they have like lighting and stuff in there. <laughs> Your face is like. No, Cameron, I've always wondered why this building had no windows. Have you ever seen the inside of the sound stages? No. So that's where film students like do sets and stuff. So then we just walk this way. Texas Student Television is, and also um, the Daily Texan offices are in here. Watch my first semester at UT vlogs because we were on the Daily Texan, you guys. Lots of video clips going down to the basement. That is where the Daily Texan is, and I'm guessing there's no Daily Texan this summer. This is part of the honors squad, I'm pretty sure. So, like, there are like four dorms here that are like the honors buildings. Did you know I have a podcast? Stream becoming an influencer on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, and six other platforms. Thank you. Back to the tour. But it's like a landmark, and like a bunch of orgs will host like part, not parties, but like meetings or like nice dinners for their orgs there. So 24th comes right here, and this is Wittis. Do you say Wittis or Whitus? This is a pretty iconic intersection. Usually, like, my man is here, like, high fiving so, people. So I was just thinking. I miss him. Shout out to the cross guard right here. He's That's always amazing. a saint. So, this is the outside of the Texas Union, and this is just a oh, wow, a ghost town, but also a run where you can sit outside of the Texas Union. So that is a couple stories, and I've done a lot of studying in this building, so check out my UT vlogs. Okay, so this is the busy street I was telling you guys about, Guadalupe. There's a bunch of shops and food places. That's the infamous co-op. Infamous, well known for some bad quality or deed. Well, I guess this, the famous co-op. Chipotle, a school of Scientology? I don't really know about all that. Anywho, when you turn around, this is University of Texas. My friends right here. Then right here is the front of the Texas Union that I showed you guys the courtyard of. Behind there you have the tower. That is an architecture building. Actually, I think I'm gonna do the intro right here. 
think the cars will stop. I don't think the cars will stop. I don't think they will. <laughs> All right, sick. Right here, you also have a map of campus. So, yeah, you can Google that. Fun fact, right down there is the post office. So if you need to mail anything, definitely go check out the post office in the West Mall. Over there is the FAC, and it's totally under construction, but again, I got vlogs of it if you need to really see it. Oh, okay, I wish I got that. So in here is the best architecture library if you want a good place to study, but you can't bring in food or drinks, so just know that. You can leave them on the table outside, though. Now we're at the turtle pond, which this is a pretty iconic pond. My brother and sister went here back in a really long time ago, and it also existed, so come check it out. People will come here to see the turtles, feed the turtles, and just relax during a crazy school day. But, oh my god, look at his shell. But look, they come up to you. Oh wow. I love these. You want to tell them to subscribe? And to hook them? Hook them horns? Have a good day. Cute. Real cute. And then here is the tower. Here's one of our most hardworking longhorns. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you for life. So now we are at the UT Tower. And that's pretty much all you get. Hook them. Hook them. Hook them. Fun fact, they made like a mandate that nothing was allowed to be taller than the Capitol building. Like they weren't allowed to build any of the buildings on campus taller than the Capitol. So the tower is like five inches shorter than the Capitol technically, but they built it on a hill so it'd be the tallest building in Austin. There's the Capitol. The Capitol. So they really said like These are things that I learned from when I took a tour. <laughs> I just like randomly remembered. Sometimes I'll have to pass through here and I get to see a tower behind me and Capitol. Like there was still segregation between like women and men on campus. There's not women and men's bathrooms on every floor. There's like first floor women's bathroom, second floor men's bathroom because they had to like change the different men's bathrooms into women's bathrooms once they started to integrate women into this side of campus. Oh my gosh. Right over here is like where people come to the lawn and they'll read books and they'll vibe. Put this down. Big L for, for sure. All right guys, this is the legendary fountain at UT. A lot of the seniors will get in it. Elise, jump in. I will next semester. Okay, but. I'm not officially done yet. My friends and I filmed a thing for this TV show in front of this fountain that was supposed to be like friends. Don't go in the fountain. It's bad luck. Is it? Until you graduate? Yeah. You heard that here first, guys. Don't go in the fountain until you graduate or it's bad luck. Look, there's even corks in the water from people popping their champagne from graduation. Congrats, grads, but clean up your mess. All right, so then when you cross from the fountains, there's a whole district almost of churches and sorority houses, yes. But down here, I've had business. Yeah. That's where I had marketing. Check out my first semester at UT. So this is the UTC. Yeah, forgot to say that. A but lot of random like it's business classes and like random like UGS classes and stuff. And then over there is the Macomb School of Business, the PCL. So I've gotten kicked out of here multiple times working for Red Bull. Oh, I was like, how'd you get kicked out? Oh yeah, I've only studied here a couple of times. But mainly. I would suggest it. There are better places to like the library is a great resource, but like just if you're yeah. like me and you're like very affected by your surroundings and like the interior design of them, the me interior too. design of this like makes you feel like you're in a prison. Not a lot of outlets, I've noticed. Oh, but there's no parking, that's what it is. Yeah, you've got to find your way here because you've got to pay $10 to park back like oh, okay. around here and then it's only a couple hours, so The only time know I that. ever studied here was when I lived in Jester because it's right across the street. Jester, it's where my brother lived. I'm wearing a shirt. The guy who designed Jester West and East, um, he pretty much exclusively designed prisons, but UT hired him so that he could make the maximum amount of space, like to put the maximum amount of rooms if possible in these buildings. Oh and so God. that's why it kind of looks like a prison from the outside. Because Sick. the guy who designed it was a prison designer. That makes sense. There you go. And right back there, the art museum. So that's oh, just what she's talking about. Um, all right, so this is a speedway that we're walking on right now. And it's pretty much always full of bikes and skateboards and 
walking and talking and a lot of tabling usually happens right here as well. It's also the gym slash like the rec center, right? You've never been to the pool? Uh -oh. Yeah, so if you're watching this, you better go to the pool when this is all over. This is the new student activity center. And fun fact, when they built the new one, they like named it the new UT Student Activity Center. And so people called it the Nutsack because that's the acronym. Amanda, if you want to spell it out here while well, you're editing it, the Nutsack, N-U-T-S-A-C. So they changed it and named it like William C. Powers Student Activity Center because everyone was calling it the Nutsack. <laughs> and yeah, you just walk around here. There's a nice little courtyard and there used to be emus over there so that you could lay down. So Elise, you had Matthew McConaughey as a professor. I did. How was it? It was so incredible. Um, should I like tell the truth or should I? <laughs> I don't know. Well like, okay, so like the, he, it was really cool honestly like and it's really great that he like gives us the opportunity and like the resources that he gives us but like in all honesty he doesn't teach the class like, right. as a co-professor and he only comes in a couple times so like theoretically he's a great professor but like in practice like he's not actually a professor he just comes a couple times but I did get to produce a set for him for like the new Moody Arena that he's like one of the donors for he's gonna have people from his class every semester kind of like film as it's like being built and yeah. so we got to film the first um, part of like the groundbreaking ceremony where they like started construction on it. Wow. So that was cool. He shook my hand and said good job. That's pretty crazy. There's a picture of that. I was saying Wagner has become like a meme among UT students just in general. I don't know, I don't remember why, but if you're in the UT meme page, you've heard of Wagner. And I ran right down that street down there for David Dobrik, so. This is the computer science building. This is the Dell Computer Science Hall. From the bird's eye view, I've been told that the building is designed to look like the inside of a computer, to and me, so. It just looks like it's um, a Minecraft build. Yeah, that too. Especially Very the sculpture. That, does, that looks, except it's a circle, but if it was That a is Minecraft, totally. So these are the engineering this is specifically buildings. like bio and chem buildings because this is like connected to where the greenhouse is included. That's engineering building and then also that sculpture, the matching one is at the Dallas Museum of Art. Yeah. My freshman year I had, to, I had Chinese in this building and then I had back-to-back -back classes so I had 15 minutes to walk from that building to the CMA to go to my RTF classes. Oh, that's going to be me next semester. So if we are still on campus next semester, fingers crossed, um, I have an 8 a.m like completely across campus from my next class, which is gonna be like a UGS. So, I'm gonna be struggling together. That is also the Student Help Center, so if you have any issues with student conduct or if you need counseling, I went to counseling here for a long time, and yeah, it's just off of University and Dean Keaton. That's where they told me I had a concussion after I fell out of a truck at Red Bull. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so this is the crosswalk. That is the Moody Bridge over here, and Dean Keaton and Whitus with Bilo right there, and it's usually so crazy full of people. You can literally just like jaywalk because it's an actual crosswalk that way. I don't know, I've never seen that in my life, so. It's like a all way crosswalk where like they stop all the cars and like it's pedestrian walk out. If you have a moped, you can park in any of the street parking like pay spots for free. No way. Yeah, because it's better for the environment so they want to like reward people who drive mopeds and stuff. That's sick. So right now we are driving past the stadium and this is also where we saw David Dobrik. So plug that video. This is also where the tailgating happens. So I've worked this exact road for Red Bull passing out Red Bull during a football <laughs> game. This is literally where we would have our little setup. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching. So we pretty much try to give you a full tour of campus, but of course there are so many buildings that I don't know about and that it was just, it's really hard to cover it all, you guys. This is like 40 acres, and that's why they call it that. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a good like if this is helpful, and thank you to Elise and Cameron for making this possible today. Hook up horns, and I hope you guys can make it to the 40 acres. Dude, why don't you stop falling? Bye. <laughs>